up, guys? So what do we got today? Today is team of the year. We got defenders and ultimate release in 22 minutes. <clears throat> I think I've already got all this stuff timed out. Let's just go ahead. I mean, it doesn't matter at this point. Let's go ahead and grab the energy packs. What the fuck happened? Players are here. Fernandez. What boost do we have? Reactions for Arnold. Marking. Would have much rather had Captain. Marking. Do we even use... Marking's not... You Nobody has marking. <sighs> His normal team of the year has captain. See, I would be happy with that, but uh, it depends on what the stats difference is. I wonder how much these things, are they gonna be auctionable? Yep, they're auctionable right out of the gate too. What do you guys think the ultimates are gonna be going for? Ugh. How many we take? 1,200. Is there any way, is it 35? And it's 70 gets you 200, so we're basically dealing with 12,500 gems for every 100. Wow. That's rough. Check the reserves. There's, there's where your Salah... Is that, is Mane over here? Left back Robertson. Tiago. Top three are all Liverpool. 97. Definitely some players that we'll have to buy. Mane will be in the past. That makes sense. For ultimate, ultimate players, um, even if you claim, let's say you claim an attacking starter. Let's say you get Lewandowski or whoever. Let's say you grab him and he gives you 200. Okay, even if you claimed two of them. Well, tickle mutadies. Rafa 1977 just resubscribed for 10 months. Rafa, 10 months. Damn. We got people in here almost a year. Um, where are we at? So, even if you get, you get 200 team of the, ultimate team of the tokens, 200 ultimate, those ultimate, you can use, you can do two of them for... 400, you might get 600 if you spend 12,500 gems, and then you're out another 25,000 gems times three, 75,000 gems to get an ultimate. I've got command commands are in there for fishing questions. Should be. Should be. There should be uh, commands for fishing questions. Claim three attacking starters to unlock ultimate offers. So you got to claim all of them. Claim five team of the year defending starters to unlock. Holy shit. So these, they're done. Like, you can't, like, the only way you can get an ultimate is if you're spending an outrageous amount. Like, these ultimate defenders, oh my god, their value, they are going to be insane in the market. I've seen some pretty shitty situations in my life. But nothing Unless you have an oil field. 
Yeah, let's just look at just look at the attackers. Um, everybody can get one. To claim that second one, uh, you're gonna have to come back through here and either. As it, I'm sure someone's figured it out, but good God, let's just go with gems. Let's just say if you gem it for the starting tokens. Well, tickle mutadies. CR7 boy 11 just resubscribed for five months. Your goat mate. Thanks, man. That's awesome. Five months. So now, if you do just just if you gemmed it just on the starter tokens, um, you're gonna be you would need 18 18 times open it up. This is if you don't do any other kind of. I mean, there there might be a cheaper way to do it. 45,000 gems. To claim all three starters. And then to get to the ultimate, that's just to unlock them. But to unlock them, you're going to end up with... You're going to end up with a total of 2, 4, 570. So if you have 570... Means you can open it 16 times. So 16, 8 times 200. That gets you 1,600. So you could claim one ultimate starter for 45,000 gems. 45,000 gems gets you a starter. Am I going to get Allison? It depends. I, don't, I haven't looked yet to see what's going on. Frank did the math. I'm sure somebody did. Yeah, it's nuts. Yeah, this is. I. I mean, we last year this the value of these ultimates were like fifty to eighty mil. I think it's going to be about the same this season. Will I get Allison? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, I mean, I've got, I've got UCL Allison. I, I don't think there would be a much bigger shift. I can't imagine his stats being too much higher than UCL Allison. Maybe I don't know. Depends. Sixty mil. I think over sixty mil would definitely be within range. Or you guys said that. So if you gem the whole way through here, oh, I guess he did pop up. So we'll get him. Left wing Mane. I don't know. I think. Uh, All right, boys. Hamza. Prepare thanks. Glad you showed up today. The oh, 15 minutes here in you and it sucks to know it. The ultimate isn't possible to get. Yeah, I mean they're they're just out of range, especially for defense. I mean, they may release some packs, something in the store. I don't know, but uh, unless you're dropping some serious coins on this stuff, there there's no way. Weekend tournament is weekend tournament release this today. No, I was using this. This is uh, my icons. This is what I was using for icons. Through Nunez in up top. Gold are timing out. Um. Still have. We'll do this real quick. Did you do the team of the year SPC for shards yet? No, no, I'm waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Yeah, I'm doing it. Jay, we're I'm definitely doing it. Uh I'm doing it at some point. Maybe this weekend. It depends on how busy things get. 
Yeah, let's. I want to talk about that for a second. The the watch party. So I wanted to watch, like I started to look and to see like what Prime movies were available if I'm going to do a watch party, and uh, the movie Zombieverse popped up, which is something I really want to see. I love that kind of like camp comedy horror, just terrible old '80s B type shit. And I thought it would be hilarious, but it's supposedly full of nudity and there's there's a lot of uh, sexual content and stuff like that. Which is, in my opinion, what makes the movie decent. <laughs> but um, then I started thinking about it. I'm like, well, there's terms of service violations on Twitch. Like, if you do any of that. And I said, well, how, how, can they, how can they do it? So when you read the terms of service for Twitch and it says on the watch party that the way it works is it's actually two screens. You get um, a... You're streaming the movie with everybody else in one screen. And then you have a separate screen, which is your webcam. And the rules make it sound like as long as you're not doing anything in your webcam, Amazon... Their ratings and their restrictions for the movie covers that side of it. So if that's the case, then then I can get away with anything as long as it is on Amazon Prime and I'm not doing anything in the webcam portion of it that, that gets me in trouble. But then I so I said, well, I'll just clarify it with Twitch. And the response they gave me was uh, we suggest you basically side with caution and don't do anything stupid. I'm like, well, I'm definitely going to do something stupid. That's me. Do you guys not know who I am? Do you do you not remember my second application for Twitch partner? So, yeah, we're doing a watch party, and I, I think we might do Zombievers first. Zombievers. It's about like zombie beavers. I'm just waiting on Ultimate Team of the Year at this point. We got 10 minutes. I don't know about Tiago. I've been very disappointed with Tiago this season. When when am I going to do the watch party? Probably over the weekend. It'll be a, a late night weekend stream. I might do it tonight. Hell, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I'll be able to plan it though. It was actually a woman at work, and uh, no, she she stuck around. She stayed because I think uh, I don't know. Am I going for an ultimate in the market? I'll buy a few ultimates before it's over. How's the market looking? Um, I'm not getting very many sales. Not getting very many sales in the silvers at all. But the elites are starting to move. Like, I think I had... I think I sold 30 or 40 elites yesterday for about 300 to 600,000. Should I spend my gems on Van Dyke to sell them immediately? I I mean, maybe, I guess. I, I think there's some people do that, but if he doesn't sell in the first five minutes, after four hours, his value is going to be down to the... I, I don't ever... I don't think that's ever intelligent. I mean, there's much easier ways to make coins. Gems for coins just doesn't sound smart to me 
Gems for boost? Sure. Gems for... Like, uh... An opportunity for something? Maybe, but I, I don't know. I'll show you guys what's sold after I get done with them at League versus League. Now, I mean, I probably could start buying some silvers. The values have started to drop down enough that I think they're within range. But uh, other than that, I don't know. Costi, how we doing? Well, tickle mutadies. Matombo 55,246,270 underscore just resubscribed for seven months. Seven months. Seven months on uh, Prime Gaming. That's dedication. If you're going to buy ultimates, I think their value is going to get lower and lower until the end of the event. Uh, and then their value usually comes down after about a month. So if you want to wait, wait till like April or May <laughs> for the best value in ultimates. But uh, if you're wait, if you're trying to get them now during the event, towards the end of the of the event, like in the last couple of days, is usually where they see their cheapest value in the market. Is that it? Did I play three? Nope, one more. Where is Salah? He he's in the ultimate tab under nominees. They did we just saw that earlier in the stream. Critical. How we doing? How you doing? Are you season legend division. I I am not into legends divisions yet. I'm still dicking around with the normal leagues. I think I've got like 180 of my 182 or something, and I'm trying to get to the 200. It's a principal thing. Yeah, I doubt I'll... I don't even know if I'll get any... If... I don't think I'll get any starters. If I get any starters, it'll only be to unlock ultimates or to sell. And it might be a different way to do it. I just have a hard time seeing EA making ultimates out of range. Something may be coming that puts them into range. I, I don't know. John, how's my toe? Still broke. Still broke. Hurts. We're going to check sales here in a second. We'll do that next. What happened to your toe? Um, a 50-50 ball, and it uh, didn't go my way. It was like 50-50, uh, but more like 70-30, and my toe took the 70. <laughs> you know what's funny is the dishwasher is here. It, it arrived like 20 minutes ago. Like five minutes before the stream started, the, the dishwasher was arriving in my driveway. Safe to use the money that will come from elites because SPCs to buy ultimate. Pretty much. It's going to be... Is Dyke going to be... Is Van Dyke going to be free to play? Yeah, I would assume so. We got four minutes. Is anything selling or is this just stuff timing out? I think this is just more golds timing out.
65s. There's been some 60 some sales in 65s. Interesting. Are we starting to see 65s go back up a bit? Look at that. Some 65s are uh selling at timeout. Um Yeah, here's what we're talking about the Let's see, where are we at? We got, these are all elites in the 400 to 500,000 range. I don't know how many total it is, but there's a decent amount of elites in here. 300 to 500,000. There's Sterling for 500,000. Fernandez, Holly, a couple of Adams. I think the rest are all dismissed. Am I restocking silvers? Not yes. Um, it's. I don't even know. It's a decent amount of elites. Uh, I was just going to do a stupid poll for this one. Let's see. Sales. Overnight, mostly elite. We'll say under four mil, four to eight mil, eight to 12 mil, over 12 mil. There's the pull. I mean, there's not very many sales. We don't have a lot of sales. We're starting at 42,000. We'll let the poll run. As soon as the poll times out, we'll see what it is. There's a lot of elites, though. I think I, there's more elite sales than there is anything. We'll claim the 65s that sold, too. I'm not even going to recheck them. We'll just claim them. You guys, 8 to 12 mil? I'd be fine. Anything over 8 mil, I'll be happy with. I mean, we're in that 5 to 10 mil a night range right now. Is what we've been doing. Oh shit, I didn't want to do that. Nine and a half mil. You guys said eight to twelve. That was pretty close. Make sure I didn't miss any before. Reset. Seriously, so stop. Stop with the reset stuff. All right, 9.6 mil. 9.6 mil. You guys are right on target between 8 and 12. All right, so let's reset. Let's see where we're at. Uh, money at 2.5. 2.5 mil. Okay, so. There's my squad. Somebody had asked to see the squad earlier. There's the team. We're ready to upgrade Beckham. Let's just do that real quick. We'll spend 1.43. Take Beckham to 98. All right, let's look at ultimate. Let's look and see what we're dealing with. We've got defense is unlocked. We're going to claim all the defense points, but let's see who we're, who is here. Courtois in the chain pack. One. Oh, so look, they're a lot cheaper. 100, 100, 150, 175, 175. That's better. Hernandez. 
Port, Navas, Hummels. Allison's your big one at 92. 92, though. Look at that. 110, 113, 101. Has anybody compared him to UCL? Generalist. 110, 113, 101. Let's just, let's just look and see what's the difference. 110, 113, 101. So diving, he's got much better diving stats, even at 92. I'd have to compare the two as they get up. Allison and Van Dyke, yeah, you can you can most likely get Allison and Van Dyke. Allison and Van Dyke should be an easy sell. Yeah, 175. Everything's the same. Nothing here changes. So you should be able to just go down and grab Allison and get Starter Van Dyke. That shouldn't be a problem. Neuer, 95. What was it? Arnold? Pace? Eh, I'd rather have reactions. But Captain. See, I'd rather have Captain here. Reactions, acceleration, marking, strength, and balance. What is ultimate? What are we looking at in ultimate? Marking. Heading boost, though. I don't know. I think marking would be better. It's just we haven't had anybody decent with marking out at all. Claiming Ramos. No. No. Terdio Ramos will not be going in my squad. I'd like to have that ultimate Arnold, though, with reactions. God damn. That's a card I'd like to have. Where's his 101 free kick? Early crosser, long shot taker, long passer. Medium defensive work rate, though. Ultimate power header. 126 heading, 113 jumping. Should be able to finish corners. <sighs> Dude, what now? Oh, in Ultimate Team of the Year tab, Animated Robertson has a different boost. Are we talking about this right here? So Robertson is crossing Animated. Pace. Whoa, is that the only one? Salah is attacking. And attacking. I wonder if that's that's just got to be an issue. I don't know. That I wonder if no, wait. This is a premium version. I wonder if he's the only one with a different... Have you guys looked to see the only one with a different... Box-to-box. Uh, Box-to-box. Box to box. Is it just Robertson that's got it jacked up? Second striker. Second striker. Weird. Feel like spending millions of dollars right now. Uh, let's let's go ahead and start. Let's do some defenders. What do we got here? Oh wait, you guys said there was something in the pack. We got a defensive Courtois in the chain pack. We'll open the chain pack. It's two bucks. I'll do it. I've opened all the other chain packs. We may as well do this one too. All right. No. Defensive points. We've got packs to open. We've got energy to spend. We want defensive points is the only points we want. Let's just go ahead. We're going to go all in on defense anyway. Yeah, the, the ultimates look insane, but no, they are not free to play. 
They're not even remotely free to play. Not even close to free to play. I mean, you can do it. It's it's like 35,000 to 55,000 gems necessary to unlock the stuff. I don't know. Can sort it out then. I think we will go after Allison. We'll go get Allison. We can always just burn the UCL into him. What's doing good in markets? Um, right now, it's it's all elites. All my almost all my sales yesterday was, was just elites. Well, what costs more than thirty mil? Ultimates? Yeah. Yeah, you can pretty much guarantee that. Mbappe is down to like nine and a half. Not the ultimate. What are the ultimate values at right now? How much is ultimate Van Dyke? Are there any in the market yet? 130 mil. He should settle around 60 to 80. If I had to guess, 60 to 80. If you had the coins, um, I mean, if you, if you could get an ultimate right now and sell it, you could always buy it back later. Ronaldo's the cheapest. Ninety mil for ultimate Ronaldo. Yeah, I mean, we've all been excited about uh, the stats we've had for a long time. And I think the now we're starting to see some better players. The stats that, of the stuff that we've been excited about are starting to look pretty shitty. Two, team of the year, free to play. Starters? Yeah, you can probably get two starters free to play. Maybe. If, you, if you're spending the gems on them. How do you get an ultimate team of the year nominee? Uh, you have to trade in 25 starter points for a nominee. 25 starter points get you a nominee. How much do you think starters will be at the end of the event? Not much. The starters won't be that. The starters are never really a big thing. Everybody wants the ultimates. Unless the boost doesn't translate. Honestly, I don't know how much. You sold an, an 85 nominee for 120 mil? Uh, that's pretty crazy. Passing through the gate. T 
team of the year start or team of the year players are down to 700k. They'll even be lower than that. I think before it's all said and done. I think they'll even come down lower than 700. Mane is in the the pass. Mane is in the ultimate pass. It's the only place you can get him. Ultimate pass. Much gems for Van Dyke starter in Ronaldo. Um, ooh, that's that's an interesting question. I think Van Dyke starter is going to be easy if you go after. I mean, you're going to use almost everything. You're going to have to buy the second starter with. Um, you're going to have to buy the second starter with gems. And how much is it for one? Is it like 15, 20,000 for a starter? Somewhere in that range. better to buy from the shop i don't know i haven't looked i mean it, I, I think there's easier ways to go about it i think an ultimate is within range i know they i know we're looking at uh we're saying that they're you know that they're not possible but if you're doing the pass if you do the ultimate pass you spend 20 bucks on the ultimate pass it's not free to play but if you spend um 20 bucks on the ultimate pass you're gonna get a ton of stuff through there for all of the different ranges. You need to get all of the starters from one area to unlock the ultimate to be able to do it. Um, so if you go in all all in on defense and unlock all of the starters for like 25, 30,000, whatever it is, um, we could figure it out here in a minute. We could figure out how much is actually gonna be required to get uh, one of the ultimate defenders. That's the only ones I would go for is the defenders. Which one will be cheaper? Neuer or Van Dyke? Uh, probably Van Dyke. I think Van Dyke will be cheaper than Neuer. I think everybody's going to end up with Van Dyke. All right, so where are we at here? Let's just see how far off. Let's let's go all in though. Let's let's use all of the packs. We're going to use all everything that we've got. Spend it all. Use all the chain packs on defense and then figure out how far off we are and what's possible left. Oh, come on. I hit it. What would you suggest to max coins in Team of the Year? Which tar Team of the Year starter to get? If you're wanting the most coins, what starter should you get? Um, hell, I don't know. Uh, defensive starters are going to have the best coins. Which ones of those defensive starters? I, I don't know. I don't know what's going to be the most. It's a it's a guess one way or the other. I don't think Van Dyke's going to be the most valuable. I think so many people are going to get Van Dyke that he's that he's going to give he's not going to give out the best coins.
Yeah, there's a lot of Liverpool players. I want to get Ronaldo and Van Dyke. I have the second team of the year pass. Do you think I'll get them both and also have 9K gym? I think it's close. I, I don't know. I think it's close as to whether or not you'll do it. Van Dyke is already 12 mil. Starter Van Dyke. Yeah, I don't think the... I think there's going to be a lot of people grabbing Van Dyke. It's always safe to invest in base elites. You just got to make sure you're investing in them cheap enough to make it worth it. Is Ito valuable in the long run? Well, he's non-auctionable, so nobody really gives a shit. Can't sell him. Yeah, we talked about the Robertson bug. We don't know if it's actual true or not. But he it looks like he's the only nominee that's got different boost for different settings or whatever. I'm going to burn through all this defensive energy. We get 200 ultimate team points for every 70 tokens. Then we only need 420 ultimate tokens to get one ultimate team of the year card. Then why are you saying it needs 45,000 gems? Because to get to buy any of the ultimate cards, you have to open up all of the starters. You can't just get the ultimate tokens. You have to you have to purchase all of the starters in the event. You can't just go buy them in the market. You have to unlock all of the starters to unlock an ultimate. You get all of the ultimate points by unlocking all of the starters. It's, it's like a chicken for the egg thing. Only six million? I thought you could get 120 million out of the nominees. <laughs> Is there a way to catch up on the missing days? No, not really. That's why you should have held all your your coin packs and your video ads from yesterday until today. If you claim Ronaldo and I, I doubt it, unless you're really spending some serious amount of gems. Is generalist a good boost? I, I don't really put much stock into defenders or into goalkeepers. Boost or anything. You can't control a, a goalkeeper. I just don't care. Elites under 70. Yes. How do you know when to sell an elite for 400k? You 
Here's how you know when to sell an elite for 400k. What OVR is good for a decent versus weekend tournament? Uh, 100. 100 OVR is about average for weekend tournament. Ten K free FIFA points from previous seasons. Is it worth it to spend it for the premium pass? It's going to give you a lot more points. I mean, it's up to you though. So they're all done. We just need to watch three ads. We'll get all this in. Am I wearing a baseball cap? No, it's a yarmulke. All 200 ultimate points on the nominee pack. I honestly, if you're trying to get coins, it might not be that bad of an idea. I'm not discounting, though, that I can't get a, uh, that I can't get an ultimate. I've already spent, I've got the pass, and I spent six bucks on the three chain packs. So I've got $26 into Team of the Year, which is more than I should. Uh... With that $26 spent, is it possible to get an ultimate? That's what I want to look at as soon as we get done with this. A prize for the dumbest question every stream. So I was talking to Ruben last night, and I did not know this. Okay, here, I want to, I want to throw this by you guys. I didn't know this. When you reach partner status at twitch you can give out a sub a sub a subscription to your channel to one viewer and it's good for life did you guys hear that one person i can give someone a sub to the twitch channel that is good for life a free lifetime subscription to the channel. And we were try trying to figure out how, how would you even go about f of deciding who got that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, uh, <laughs> thanks for choosing you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a free sub give it to the wife. That's a hard pass. <laughs> A tournament? Yeah, I don't know. I think I'll hold on to it for a while. I don't know. It, but yeah, that's that's something I can actually do. The longest viewer? See, I've thought about it. It could be longest viewer, most gifted subs. I don't know. Yeah, there's there's a few different things. Like who's the best moderator? And you can you can also give it to a bot too and have a bot. It's two. You have actually have two free lifetime subs to give out. And one one goes to a person, one goes to a bot. So I'll probably give one to stream elements or whatever it is. I can't remember who it is that we use. Yeah, <laughs> and then if uh, we ever get to, I think you get you get one lifetime sub, sub that you can hand out 
once you have 50 subs and the channel has 50 subs and then at 250 subs you can give out a second one so there's and i think it's a, you get another one at like 500 subs or something like that but as the channel continues to grow you can give out more lifetime subs should be the one guy who has stick to you even when no one watches you we'll see who who shows up for a watch party now All right, so how, how close are we? 45, we need 10. How much do you get out of this one? Is it 10 here? 10, and that gives us another 50. We have 270. Let's see where we're at. All right, so let's start. Let's start doing the math. You guys are trying to figure out who's watched the most. Following for eleven months, fifteen days. Jay has spent six days and seven hours. I don't think anybody's going to top that in by way of time. All right, so I'm, you, you guys are still running this. Um, let's see. Let's start at the end. So if we grab Allison, that's eighty, and then I think we also need twenty-three to get to get it there. So what do we got? One fifty, three, four fifty, six, seven fifty. 850, 950, 950, so 3,850 gets me a total of 80, so 155, and then I think there's some more down through one, what did I say, 80, 155, is that right, 80 and, yeah, 155, 175, We already have 10, so there's 200, right? So 200 gets me there. So 3,850. I'm writing this down. Okay. So we need we need 3,850 points to get Allison and Node 23. I'm I'm doing notes off screen so it doesn't like muddy this up. You can go for Alba instead and still get enough tokens for virgin. It doesn't matter. If you if you go for Alba, it's the same amount. It doesn't save you any coins to go for Oh no wait, you can't do it with Alba. You can get enough to get So here's the thing. If you go for Alba, you get enough for Van Dyke, but to, I'm I'm not looking at a starter. I'm looking at an ultimate. I want to know what's possible to get an ultimate. So to get an ultimate, I have to unlock all of these. You have to buy all five starters to get an ultimate. So we get 200, 200 starter tokens if we get Allison and Node 23. We are short 3,700 
and 80 defensive points. So that's how much we're short. 3,780 3, defensive points short of the 200. That's just to get 200. Um, if we go back, how much? Let's see, the points are 400 for 2,500 or 10 for 2,500. So, like you get 20 here, but it takes 400, it takes 400, it takes 700 for 20. No, 8. So it's 1,100 for 20, or you can get 10. So you'd have to buy three packs. You'd spend 7,500 gems to get the points to claim the player. Or you would just spend 5,000 to get the same equivalent in points. So we're looking at this too. So 20, 30. So at 30, you're talking 3, 7, 12. 1,200 gets you 30. So you'd have 7,500. It's the same price. So it's the same price, but you gain a player over here at 30 points. What about 30, 60? What do we got? 500, 950. So 1,300. 1,300 gets you 60 starters. So 1,300, you're going to open up four packs, it's 10,000, or 40 points. So, see, it's, it gets to a point where it's cheaper to grab the players and to gem for the players. So, if you open up four packs, it's 10,000 gems, it gets you 60 more points if you go for Navis. Um, you can do the same thing with Jordi Alba. So is it 6, 11, 1,500? So Navis is cheaper. So let's do this. So 8, it's 1,300 and 1,500. So 2,800. 2,800, and you need to do seven. Seven packs get you another 120. Seven packs get you another 120 points. Damn, this is... So, 17,500 gems gets Navis and... Who was it? Navis and who? Jordi Alba? Yeah. For 120 starter tokens. So 17,500 gems. We're figuring this all out. We're trying to see how close we are. How close we are to, to get it. Tell me when you have calculated. I will send my bank details. <laughs> yeah. 17,500 gems. Get you another 120 starter tokens. If you've already got 200, so that puts you at 320. We need a grand total of three, so five, six, seven hundred. Seven hundred starting tokens are needed. Seven hundred starter tokens needed. You have to. So seven hundred starting tokens unlocks all of the defenders. That will give you plenty. So 170. So there's 340. 190, 590. 690. That gets you 690 ultimate tokens. Which 690 divided by 70 is, you'd have to. You can do it nine times. Gives you that gives you oh shit! How many do we have? What does it take for an ultimate? 
I know I'm not doing the calculations on screen. I'm doing them off because it's going to muddy the screen up. Okay, so once you claim all of them, 1,200 for a starter. So that's going to be, if you get 9 times 200, it's 1,800. You're going to have plenty. That's more than enough. More than enough. So, I don't know. I haven't I haven't figured out the pass yet. We haven't looked at the pass yet. The pass, I, claim, I opened all the pass too. So, we're going to grab an additional 350 defensive. So, we've got that too. So, let's see. We need... Seven, okay, so here we go. I'll, you want me to put this on screen? I'll put this on screen. We'll start over with all this stuff. So we need, I need 3,850 points to get Allison and node 23 for 200 starter tokens. 700 starter tokens in total are needed to unlock ultimates. Let's see, 17,500 gems gets Navis and Jordi Alba for 120. Starter tokens. So that would put us at 320. God damn, we're so way short. Uh, the starter pass gives us 5, 12, 50. No. 1, 5, 1250 defensive. So 13, 14, 1600 defensive points. Still short, 2250, and I have 70, so 2180 defensive points short of Allison and node 23. Hmm. It's 2180 short. Damn. <sighs> Allison and Van Dyke are free to play. I'm looking at ultimates. I'm looking at the ultimate. So let's see. How many days are left in the event? How many days are left? So this whole thing ends in 13 days. So is that right? We're six days in. Today's the sixth day. Two... Four. So today's the fourth day. Today's the fourth day. So today, if today's day four, so that gives us 12 full resets left. Am I thinking right? 12 full resets? Not 13. Because we're, we're in the fourth day. Is today the fifth reset or the fourth reset? My brain's not working. 12 more resets. That's right. 12 more resets. So on a normal day, we're looking at Did I just lose it? I did. I think it died. I want them connected here. Okay. So 12 days, we get 15 energy. We have two more weeks of coin packs. So that's 80 energy. So another 160. So now we're up to 340 energy. 
between ads and chain packs, we get, what is it? 24 hours in a day, so 48 energy per day, 48 times 12. That brings us up to 916 energy plus whatever's left today. So we're, we're still in the first hour, so 23 hours. That's 46 more energy, 52 energy. Plus 52. So there's 968 energy for me left. Yeah, I'm getting to the tickets. I still have to do that too. 968 energy left. Divided by six is 161, is that right? 161 times six, yeah. So I got 161 times, what do we get, 20? 20 points a piece. So, 3,220 defensive points are still up for grabs. Here, so you guys can see this. So there's still 3,320 defensive points up. And we needed... Plus 1,600 in the pass. So we're 2,180 short of Allison and 23. So. Two thousand one hundred eighty is one thousand one hundred and forty defensive points. So eleven forty. This is what we can do. Let's see what we can do with eleven forty that doesn't include the gems in the defensive path. My God, this is coming down to it. Uh, 1140. So if we're already going to, if we spent the gems to get Jordi Alba and Navis, if you go here, 30, so 9, 1200, we're, we're short. We're not even enough. It's not even enough to get another 30 defensive points. Let's just say it's close. And we'll say we get another 30 starter here. And that's about the only other one we've got because we would have to spend another 9, 1,200 for 30. And we get 400. So 7,500. It's a, it's a wash. It doesn't matter. So that gives you 30. You're going to be 120, 320. You're 380 shy. This is with the this is with the six chain packs. Six chain packs and the pass. Six chain packs and the pass. We're still 380 tokens short. 10 starter tokens is 2500. So 2500 times 38 95,000 gems. 95,000 gems. Holy shit. So, even with 17,500 gems to gems, six in chain packs. 20 for all three passes. Here, I want you guys to see this. This is this is craziness. 
20 for all three passes, so that's 26 bucks and 75,000 gems. Still 380 starter tokens short. Do you guys see that? 380 starter tokens short. And if the starter token points And it doesn't matter. It's just as cheap to buy starter tokens. It's the same price. So you need 38 packs of 10 starter tokens to unlock all defensive starters. 38 times. So that's 38 2,500 gem packs equals 38 times 2,500 is 95,000 gems plus 17,500 gems that we already figured in plus 26 bucks for passes and chain packs. The only thing I haven't figured in is the tickets. So we need to look at the tickets. It's the only thing I haven't figured out. I don't know how many tickets we're going to end up with before this thing is over. We said there's 12 days left. 12 days left. And we're getting... What was it, 30 a day? No, 15, 25, 35 a day because you get five every day. So 30, 30 a day plus five, 35, 45, 45 tickets a day through the quests and everything. So 45 tickets per day times 12, 45, no wait. So is it 45, so it's 50 per day times 12 that's 600 more things which basically um, I mean 600 point I mean you're gonna get rid of what a gem pack a gem pack that's it you're gonna get rid of one 2500 gem pack with 600 and I we were already kind of padding it for about 50 50 over there for the to get Navis and Jordi Alba so the tickets are gonna cover the spread there for Navis and Jordi Alba, and you can get rid of one 400 point gem pack. That's it. So even with the, even with the, um, here you go. Even with the tickets, for another 600 defensive points. Grand total to unlock ultimate defenders. Hundred and ten thousand gems plus six for chain packs and twenty for passes. Hundred and ten thousand gems plus twenty six bucks. Uh. Ah, that's that blows me away. So when anybody comes back here later and says, Why is why is Ultimate Van Dyke eighty million coins? Why is Ultimate Van Dyke you know, 75 to 120 million coins. That's why, my friends, 110,000 gems plus 26 bucks. Sure, that's free to play. <laughs> oh.
Ultimate Van Dyke. 145 mil. I, I think he'll come down a little bit, but I don't I don't see him dropping below. He's not gonna drop below. Uh, I don't think he'll go below 100 mil anytime soon. Because it, it's it's just not gonna happen. The you know, some of them are like, well, some of the ultimates you can see as, as being worth it in the long run, they'll they're gonna come down. The attackers, even the midfielders, if you're spending a you know fifty thousand gems to unlock a midfielder, I can see it coming there. Um, but uh, if you're trying to do defense, hundred and ten thousand gems. There's no way. It it it's just because of this requirement that you have to unlock all of them. You have to claim all of the starters to unlock the defense. And what's crazy on um, on defense is you have to unlock all five. And even when you unlock all five, they give you back 1,800. And you only need 1,200 to get it. So you're going to have 600 extra. If you unlock the defense, you can... You'll be, you'll be within range to pick up a second ultimate in either an, uh, a second ultimate defender. You're only 600 shy. And at that point, if you're spending 110,000, you know, you may as well go for something else. Like, uh, you know, spend another, what is this, 200? Can we even do it here? It's not cheaper here either. So 70,000. 25,000 for every 200. It's 150,000 gems if you just go at this route. Yeah. In your opinion, is defensive path worth more worth to go for all from all three? I, I think so. Defense is gonna be uh, is gonna be the most is going to give you the most bang for your buck. I think once people realize that the ultimates are nowhere, I mean, they're so far out of range that uh, you can't do it, that they're they're not even remotely close, you know, unless you're spending, I mean, 110,000 gems. How much are gems? Like, what is it? Uh, where are we at? How many... So let's just look. How many FIFA points are we talking? Like, if you're not doing gems and you're doing FIFA points. It's 44,000 FIFA points. How much are FIFA points? Like, if you buy FIFA points. 44,000. So, four, 400 bucks. Four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. Four hundred bucks to just unlock defensive ultimate defenders. Let me say that again. Four. Well, no, yeah, that's that's in addition to the twenty six bucks. So four hundred and twenty six dollars for an ultimate defender. Did you did you hear that? Did I say did I say it enough? That's four hundred and twenty six dollars for an ultimate defender. Four hundred and twenty six dollars for an ultimate defender. That's, that's a lot of beer. $426. Can we get 293 defenders? Yeah, I think it's possible. You're just going to have to spend some gems. But, I mean, compared to, <laughs> to an ultimate, come on. That's just that just pisses me off. That's I mean they're so far out of range it's not even 
remotely close. So, I mean, claiming one... I mean, you could get Davies and Arnold, a left back and a right back, free to play. 293s are free to play. Because they're within... I mean, it's... I mean, Van Dyke's 175. 175 is 100% doable. That's free to play. You can you can easily get Van Dyke free to play. Um, if you bought the passes, you can almost get Van Dyke. I mean, I could also I could almost grab Van Dyke and Arnold by claiming Allison and. So 160 and 45, 205. I'm I'm actually within range with the pass. Now that I've already got the pass, I think um, I could actually get Allison Hummels, Van Dyke, and Arnold. I think I could get all four. That would end up with 270 ultimate tokens. 270 ultimate tokens divided by 70 gives me three packs. So that's 600. Not enough to get an ultimate anywhere. But 600, I mean, you could open this up 12 times. I mean, I, I'm looking at... I could end this, I could end the, I could end, without spending a penny, when I say without spending a penny, I've already spent 26, I've already spent $26 on team of the year, but without it, without it, I could, without spending any of my coins, I could probably end up with Salah, Robertson, I'll have Mane, Trent Alexander Arnold, Hummels, and Van Dyke. Sell Van Dyke or uh, sell Hummels and get probably midfield. I'll buy midfield Henderson. I could almost put the whole Liverpool squad together without having to do anything and then maybe look for ultimate Van Dyke and buy ultimate Van Dyke. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Is do you know if Van Dyke is free to play? Yes. Yes. All the starters are a starter is all free to play. Doesn't matter what one you're going for, you can get a free to play starter in defense, a free to play starter in any of them. One. One's free to play. You want Neuer? What's the best thing? Uh, the best way to get Neuer is to just go after Allison and claim Node 23. Allison and Node 23 will get you anything you need. Or you can do, Al if you're only going for Neuer, who's 175, you'll have, if you get Allison, that's 80. The 45 in the path, that's 125. You're going to be 50 short. You could get Jordi Alba. Or Navis, it, but it's still cheaper to go 150 and 150. 300 tokens past Allison gets you the additional 75. That's the easiest way to go to get Neuer. To get him. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Ultimate team of the year trade offer and nominee trading cost. I, I'm lost as to what you're saying. It's 70 here. It's 25 here. What's the, what's the confusion? 25 trade-ins. But you still have to have... 
it's ultimate tokens trade for ultimate points. So wait a minute. So it's So if we if no no no, I think I, I think I'm I think I'm I cited the wrong way. So if I get Alexander Arnold and Van Dyke the two give out 170, so that's 270, 270 tokens. So for 270, you can open this up 12 times. It's the same thing. It requires the ultimate team of the year token. These, ultimate team of the year token, not Ultimate team of the year points. So yeah, I'm right. Someone sold ultimate team of the year CR7 for 9 mil instead of 99 mil. Ah. Yeah, I'm just disappointed that the ultimates, the only way to get an ultimate is to buy it in the market. That sucks. That sucks a lot. It's a lot of sucking. A lot of sucking going on. All right, all right, damn. SBCs need to come. Yeah, I agree. We need something. I need some coins. That's what it's going to come down to. I need some coins. I've got eight, eight point two mil to spend. Let's let's just see where the elites are sitting today. Because I need to I need to buy a few. We spent a bunch, or we uh, sold a bunch. So we need more to come back. But nothing is ever seventy-five thousand. Is two hundred elites enough? Uh, enough for what? Like, what are you trying to do? If you're just hoping to make enough money during um, SBCs and the every, if you're trying to complete SBCs, two hundred might not be enough. You may need more than two hundred to complete the SBCs. If you're trying to make a bunch of coins and sell a bunch of stuff to to get a bunch of stuff, then 200 might be plenty. Values are low today. I'm not even looking to see what I'm buying. I'm just trying to... 85s for 75,000? Yes. Yes, we'll do that. What did you do last year for Ultimate? Did you buy in the market or could you claim? I, I uh... Last year, I bought Ultimate Van Dyke... Um, trying to remember who all I bought. I bought Ultimate Van Dyke. I bought Ultimate Allison. Somebody else. I bought one other player. And then I claimed some... And it was about the same thing. Nothing really changed over last year. If I'm being honest. It was about the same kind of crap. The only way to get anybody was to either spend an outrageous amount of gems. It's just the way it was. How many elites? I mean, I, I think I, I think everybody should be shooting for a thousand or more elites. Personally, a thousand or more elites. How much will these elites rise? Um, a lot. It's not like that. It's not like one player will rise in value. It's, it's, it's more about a shift in the value of all elites. It's all the same stuff here. Oh. 
The thousand elites for seventy five thousand, so you can sell for two hundred thousand each at least, so you get back two hundred mil plus minus pre tax. If you can sell all of them for two hundred thousand, I don't see that as being uh, a reasonable assumption. It, it's not exactly like that. You can't just turn them all into the market and double your coins. You're gonna fish them. We're looking, and some of them you can get eight hundred thousand, a million out of. Other ones you're gonna struggle to sell for one hundred fifty or eighty. Some of them might never, might not even go up in value. That's why you've got to spread out your investment to grab enough different stuff so that you can pretty much cover and hedge your bets across the board for everything. 50 million elites right now. I I would say 50 million elites right now is a, is a good starting point. I've been investing in elites for the last couple of months. Anybody who does a market dump when SBCs are released may as well just go ahead and give me 100 million coins. Where are we at? Bunch of depies. I don't want a bunch of this guy. How many already have? How do you set your fishing prices for elites? Because you have like you base your you're always base your fishing prices off of what you paid. So that's what fishing is. You're looking for an incremental improvement on your investment. So if you paid seventy five thousand, I'd put them in there for three hundred thousand. See what happens. If you paid 150,000, put them in for 500,000. Is anybody cheap enough that we could buy right now? Market dumping when SPCs releases will not give you the most coins. In fact, it's like pissing away half of your investments. Long-term investments. Yes, elites are definitely long-term investments. Kimmich is 5.5 mil. Not zombie land, zombie beavers. It's about zombie beavers. Literally, zombie beavers. Because that's hysterical. Zombie beavers. I don't think we'll get anything dropping Monday, but I think I think next week's gonna be all. Still team of the year. I think at the following week, if we see anything, it'll be the following week. Let's see. There we go. Monty's at two and a half mil. I already bought the packs though. I'll get him for free once I get that point to unlocking it. I'm waiting until I can unlock him. Have you seen Bone Tomahawk? Wait a minute. Is that is that a is that a Western? Like a Western looking thing? I think I've seen the the I've seen it pop up, but I haven't watched the trailer to know what it is.
scared to waste my 20 mil on elites because what if I don't double my coins? Then you shouldn't spend any money on elites. If you have any nerves at all, or you're nervous about any penny you spend, if you go into an investment thinking, I might not get this back, then investing in players is not for you. Definitely do not piss away any of your money on this. I am spending, what do we have? What do we have? Eight mil before I started doing this. I will spend all eight mil on elites and I will forget about the eight mil. I won't think of it as like, ah, oh, hopefully I get this back. You cannot at all in any way invest in players in hopes of doubling your money. You cannot do that for two reasons. Number one, you're going to you're gonna be too quick to sell what you've got and dump before you're able to make a decent profit. You'll be worried about what it is and too much. You don't have the patience to do it. That's number one. And number two, you will be constantly asking me, when can I sell those players? When can I sell those players? Which is going to drive me nuts. So just don't spend the money on elites. Don't do it. Save us both the hassle. Rodri. We'll take Rodri. Guys are qu cave dwellers. But it's a western, right? Like western-ish. SBCs give out, um, from the SBCs you end up in, like, when it gets released, I think last season we got a lot of boost, we got coins, XP, a lot of stuff, and then we give out players. Yeah, I, I think I, I'll, I'll watch it. Bone Tomahawk. Hmm. You think they'll give us another young player for SBC this year? No, I, I'm sticking to my gut instinct that your SBC is going to be uh, Holland. I still think it's going to be Holland. How are we in a market crash? How are we in a market crash? I made 8 mil selling like 20 uh, elites yesterday. That's not a market crash. Holland and Hummels are both free to play. Van Dyke is free to play. Standard Van Dyke starter is free to play. Don't have chicken wings before watching or any food come to that. Is it that brutal? Is it just violent? Because if that's the case, that might be better. Uh, that might be better than um, Zombievers. Can you see my inventory? I don't have any inventory. Shit, nothing sell. It. There we go. You want to see my inventory? This will be interesting. In check this out. There's my inventory. The elites that I just bought, the golds that timed out, and some duplicate silvers. That's it. That's all I've got. I don't have anything. Here, you want to see what I have listed? Oh, there's a bunch of stuff timing out. What's that? Is that? Oh, those aren't elites. See, I can't even go through it all. All my all my elites are in the market. 
Last year, one day market not going to work after a few hours market open and prices going up double, triple prices. That, yeah, that was uh, 700 mil. That was 750 was the big crash. I brought in 750 overnight. It was in like a six hour period. That was one time. It happened three times over the course of the year. And I think uh, one of them I, I made like three, 400 mil. There was a 500 mil day. And then there was a 750 mil day. Those were, those were crashes. And when we say those were crashes, it wasn't like the values changed. It was that the market actually crashed. The servers died. The servers went down. If you had stuff in... If you had stuff in the market, then you it, the bot was still buying. That was a big... Those are crashes. The shit we're dealing with right now where we're watching the values fluctuate up and down, that's not a crash. That's just day-to-day -day business in the market. You never made five mil in a day? I think we made... what I do? Was it nine and a half mil last night? We've almost spent all this coins. Zapata. I don't have very many Zapatas. When is the best time to buy Ultimate Team of the Year? Um, I, I, I. Couldn't tell you an exact answer. It, probably closer to the end of Team of the Year. Closer to the end. But I, I think if people get the team, the Ultimates, they're going to get them in the next day or so. Because they're so far out of range, free to play, that if you're going to drop the money for an Ultimate, you're going to drop it now no matter what. It's not going to save you that much money waiting out the t next 10 days and it's i mean if you're gonna spend 400 dollars for an ultimate for an ultimate defender then you're gonna be fine spending 420 dollars and getting him a few days early that's the difference i don't i don't think the ultimates are gonna come down a ton it's not like the starters where you're going to get a starter later in, you know what I mean? Everybody's going to end up with starters here in the next six, seven days. Once you can get to the, once you can claim your 92s and 93s and be able to, to grab the starter, those values should really start to come down. It, it's, I don't know. Last season, uh, we saw the lowest prices on the Ultimates in the first couple of days, and then they started to go up because everybody that was going to spend the money for them claimed them right in the in the beginning. So their prices were... Inform player. 13 well, months. That might be the longest. Inform player just resubscribed for 13 months. Here is the boomer for Twitch partner. Um... So if you look at the way it was, it's like at the very release, their values were up way up here. 140, 150 mil. Then they started to come down. They started to come down just a little bit to the like 80 to, to 70 range. Then you could get them. It's like the, the curve, the curve dropped. And there was a window where they were at their lowest. And then as people realized that nobody else was going to claim them, that the only people that claimed them were the ones that spent a few hundred dollars to begin with, their value started to come back up. And the longer it took you to get them, the, the higher their value was. That's the ultimate. Starters are completely different. So could it will it be the same this year? I don't know. I mean, I ultimates could, you know, somebody like Ultimate Ronaldo, the attackers, their value is probably going to go down as the event goes on and they'll be cheaper towards the end it in the the defensive players and a couple of the midfielders their values could go up 
as it goes up. Two and a half mil. Do we have anything else to spend it on? I think I, I want to. I've got enough training committed to Allison. I would like to take him to 99 and then transfer him over to Ultimate or to nominee Allison. Can I give you the timestamp for how to fish elites? Yes, it is at one minute, 27 minutes. At one hour, 27 minutes. Go to that timestamp. explains everything that you need to know. One hour, 27 minutes. Oh. So disappointing. 426 bucks. Is that what we said? 426 bucks for an ultimate defensive player. Four hundred and twenty-six dollars. Uh, all right. Is Ruben still on? Ruben's on. Let's go ahead and raid Ruben. I didn't. I didn't expect it to be that high. That's that's awful high. That's really high. That's that's insane. Those are insane numbers. Uh. <sighs> yeah, we're going to raid Ruben. Um, pay attention. Keep an eye on Discord and Twitter. And when I do figure out when we're going to try this whole late night... Um, The whole late night thing. The, what is it? Watch party. I'll, I'll send out a little bit of a heads up. I'll give out like a two hour heads up on Discord and um, Twitter somewhere to give you guys a heads up. And see if we can get as, enough people in to make it worth it. That'll give me enough time to get some beer on chill. All right, here we go. We're raiding Ruben. I'll come along for a few minutes. Better eat some almonds in the morning. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. This was a fun one, other than the fact that we can't get an ultimate. All right. As long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep streaming. <laughs>